Betty Jackson Jr. and this is Beatrice Peacock. I want to tell you how Boom kind of came in to the best friends. It was freaking Steve. The one you hear that they was trying to kill with White Boy Rick. They went to kill White Boy Rick, but freaking Steve got caught up in the beef between them, White Boy Rick and them. White Boy Rick would have to explain that part of it to you. But Boom then wound up killing Freaking Steve. When Boom got involved in it, he missed the kill on White Boy Rick, but they wound up killing Freaking Steve, okay? Him and one of the Brown brothers killed Freaking Steve. This is after Boom joined the best friends. Understand this, Boom was the best friend and Boom's brother was the best friend at this point. So they killed Freaking Steve for whatever reason the best friends wanted to did. Understand that. And after they killed Freaky Steve, here it is again. It's a familiar theme in these stories. One of the brown boys was brought up on murder for killing Freaky Steve. Brought him all the way to trial. Everybody testified he had did it. Once again, one of the brown boys was acquitted of killing Freaky Steve. Understand but I'm telling y'all now. That's three acquittals now. That's number three. These are acquittals. These are murders that your authority, your authorities know about, and they went in acquittals form. With people testifying like Pamela Richardson, William Miles, all of them testified. Once again, in Freaky Steve's situation, the brother in the house and they rushed in and killed Freaky Steve. It was a brother down on the couch sleep and heard it all. He was the one who testified. But they said since he was asleep on the couch and he only heard it and didn't see it, he can't actually say that the Brown brother killed Freaky Steve and he know it with his own eyes and ears. He didn't see it, but he heard everything. And when he went to the jury, they acquitted the Brown brother again of a kill. That's the third murder I'm telling y'all about. They've been acquitted for. Freaky Steve is the third one. Acquitted, bought the trial, bought up for it. Boom, found his way in the middle of that. He can tell you about the Freaky Steve killing. Where they missed killing white boy Rick, but somehow, they went back and got Freaky Steve. Understand that the gun jammed on them when they went to get White Boy Rick, but it didn't jam on the Brown brother when he went and got Freaky Steve. It's all on paper. It's all went to trial on how he beat the case, and he was acquitted. If the gloves don't fit, you must acquit. Understand that. If the gloves don't fit, you must acquit. A famous line Johnny Cochran would come up with. If the gloves don't fit, you must acquit. And as I say to all of you out there, Simmons Law, check her out, and she will definitely help you out. Brendan Simmons, one fine attorney out there, scorching them. Simmons Law, check her out, and she will definitely help you Jelani's Taste of Table, world-class chef, straight out of Baker's Culinary College. 420 stop.